everybody. Welcome to West Virginia. My name is Cheryl and this is my channel, Tranquil Stitches. Today is Monday, November 5th, 2018, and this is my Foss Tube episode number 31. Again, take 75. Chester says, hey. Hope everybody's having a good week. I hope everybody had a good Halloween. I had lots of trick-or-treaters. The neighbor dressed up and took his girls out, and I've got a picture I want to show you here of his little interaction with Miss Pennybella. She didn't like him. <laughs> she about got him. She was nipping at him. She about got his nose. I was tickled. It, it was it was funny to watch. But uh, but yeah, we had a really good, really good Halloween with lots of little trick-or-treaters. Five or six pieces left in the bowl. So <laughs> we did good. We got rid of all that candy. So, I mean, we were like there. <laughs> but we had lots of, lots of cute, cute little trick-or-treaters. So I love that. Okay, favorite finds this week. I was digging through a, a money box that we have, and I, when we moved, I had put something in there. And I forgot it was there. It belonged to my mama. It sat on her mantle for years. But I'm sure a lot of you will remember these two. Look. They're called chain families. And they're little figurines. And there were cats and bears and dogs and giraffes and all kinds of them. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you remember these. I'm really shocked that this one has survived considering how many times it's been moved and shuffled around. But I had it packed in that money box so it, it you know, I did good. It was safe. But it's got a deer and two little fawns. Isn't that sweet? I love that. This is so precious to me. My mama loved this. She had several more. But this was the only one that that survived. So I'm happy, happy to have that. Do you have those? If you do, let me know. Let me know if you remember those. I like taking you down memory lane because I like going down memory lane myself. So, so that's my favorite finds for the week. I actually did a little stitching amongst my sewing. I have a finish. I finished Primrose Needleworks Ghost Alphabet. This is mainly a start for me. I did not stitch the borders, the orange or the purple borders, because I just wanted it to be kind of open so I could make a pillow out of it. So here is my finish. Isn't that cute? I adore it. I adore it. It turned out so well. That little ghost and this little swirl. The owls on the T, a little spider, and the whole alphabet. And the green just tied it together. That's what my friend Diana said. She said that green just made it, and it did. Like a little grass. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to FFO this very soon. But I've got lots of leftover Halloween fabric now, so, so I'm going to FFO that, that and make a little pillow out of it, I think. I love it. I love it. My stomach is growling. Y'all hear that? I hope you can't hear that. I also worked on this monster, of course. And I got this week done. I got go to jail and community chest and part of short line done. That's what my progress is. These these were, yeah. Well, you know me and community chest, we, we go way back. But yeah, this these are just pain in the rear but this guy now I'm very pleased with how he turned out he doesn't look as creepy as he does on the on the chart because I changed it his little pinky come all the way down here I mean his hands already deformed it's like bigger than his head so I, I wasn't pleased so I kind of tweaked his face a little bit and did you know my own little thing with him but I'm pleased with how he turned out the only thing is Okay, two things with him. Now, I've not messed up very much on this chart. I really haven't. I've, I've, each of the community chests are their own little, they're all unique, put it that way. But this guy, I stitched on him in the evenings and I thought I was using white floss. No, I wasn't using white floss. I was using whitewash and linen that I'm using in Mount Vernon for my house. So he's not white like, you can see he's not white like waterworks. He's, which it turned out okay, but now I don't know if I have enough floss to finish the house on. 
But anyway, he turned out okay with the fancy floss, but I did not intend that. <laughs> you know, and he's facing the wrong way. He's supposed to be pointing to Marvin Gardens. Do you think he's pointing to Marvin Gardens? No. No, he's not. He's like, not only go to, just get off the board. Just, just get off the board. Do you think I'm ripping that out? Do you honestly think I'm ripping? No. He's staying. He's, he's, this, you know, he, my son's going to have a monopoly like nobody else has. And there's where I am. So, this week, I will be finishing up the rest of that. And then next week, I'll be here. So, hopefully a couple weeks more on that bad boy, and that'll be done. So, that's my stitching progress for the week, my twip stitching. I didn't work on Mount Vernon. I didn't have time. So, that's it. Okay, giveaways. Let me give some stuff away here. Rochelle at the Cottage Needle sends me goodies. You know, I told y'all that. Well, she sent me this little Autumn Harvest Mummy. Autumn Harvest Collection. It's a kit. It's got a little magnet and the whole nine yards. So, anyway, this will go to Broadway Stitcher. Broadway Stitcher, congratulations. You won the Autumn Harvest Collection Mummy Kit. And I was also giving away this Leisure Arts magazine from October of 1988. And this will go to Yankee Creek, Yankee Creek Stitcher. Yankee Creek Stitcher. We all hear my stomach. Seriously, you hear? So... Ladies, if you will send me your address via email, my email's below. I will be happy to get those out to you. Now, I was also giving away this Noah sub. And this will go to Melody Ritchie. Melody Ritchie gets Noah sub. Melody said she's got a, gr a new grandson due in March. And her husband's name is No. And they're naming her new grandson, Noah. So how perfect is that? How perfect is that? So, Melody, I already have your address, dear. So I'll get this out to you as well. So thank you to everybody who expressed interest in those things and helping me rehome some things. And thank you, Rochelle, for giving me that to share with somebody. I'll be right back. Okay. That was last week's giveaways. Now I have uh, some more charts that I like to rehome because I, you know, I'm trying to get this out of here. I'd like the first one is Cross My Heart English Pubs. Waiting for the phone to catch up. I love this one. So that's English pubs, say English pubs, um, that one will be available. The next thing I have is November, December 91, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts issue. And the cover's a little, but you know, it's how many years old? 1991. There are some ornaments in here, kitty cat. There's some other Christmas ornaments as well. There's this joy banner, which is very pretty. There is this, which I think is just stunning. Santa's. It's called Santa's of Fable and Fantasy. There's that chart in here. So this is uh, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, November, December, 91. Just say magazine. And then the last one I'm rehoming is, is Preserving Stitches by Janice Shirley. So I can't. Cross Stitch Originals. 
1979, y'all. And the recipes. The vegetables and fruits with recipes. Recipes. Thanksgiving's coming up. Recipes, recipes, recipes. Okay. So that's what I'm rehoming this week. Our gift from Miss Rochelle at the Cottage Needle. And I hope you all are sharing some love with Miss Rochelle. She's very good to me and to you all. She's very good. She sends lots of good stuff to share. So I hope that um, I hope that you give her a little love. Really appreciate it. She's she's a sweetheart. We talked on the phone for I guess about forty five minutes this week. <laughs> I just love her to death. She's a good good person. Good heart. Love her to death. Okay, she sent me this to share with you all. This is Crow Number Five by Kathy Barrick. Isn't he stupendous? And I'm also including this package of John James Twin Pointed Needles. And my stomach is growling. Let's see. These are size 28. I've never tried these. I may have to get some of those and try them. Twin Pointed Needles. If you stitch in a frame, those would be pretty handy, I would think. So, in order to participate in this drawing, and I'm going to have Rochelle draw, okay? So, what I'd like you to do, we're talking about recipes, we're talking about Thanksgiving. Why don't you share a recipe with us? Share your favorite Thanksgiving recipe in the comment. And I will enter you into the drawing for this. Hopefully, we'll all get some good recipes, and I'll have Miss Rochelle and her little generous heart to draw us a winner next week. Okay? All right. And that's the giveaways and rehomings and yada, yada, yada. Ugh. I almost spilled my coffee. Okay. That's done. Well, I've got two more giveaways. Okay, I would like to send a little something. I promised for our Hawk Run Hollow Stitch Along, HRHSAL 2018, that if you posted some progress pictures on Instagram in the month of October, you would be eligible for a prize from me. <clears throat> and for my October... I had October. The other two girls have the other two months. So be sure and tune in to their floss tubes and find out what they're going to do for you for their part in the drawing. Um, the other two hostesses. But I had October. So I put everyone into a hat and drew out Tennessee Cross Stitcher. T-N-X Stitcher. And you are my winner, baby, for October. I'd like to send you a little something to say thank you for posting your progress pictures for our Hawk Run Hollow Stitch Along. So if you will send me your address via email below, and I will get you a little something out. I'm hosting two Stitch Alongs, so I can't just do one. I'm also hosting Halloween March SAL, Teresa Kogut's Halloween March, in conjunction with Rochelle at the Cottage Needle. She sponsored that. Such long, still ongoing. Both of these are still ongoing. The there is a Facebook group for the Halloween March stitch along, and um, if you are stitching that or you plan on stitching that, um, Rochelle can hook you up with what you need, and also go check out the Facebook group for that. One lady has finished hers. She, oh my gosh, y'all, check out that hashtag and and look at what she did. She did it on blue fabric. It's absolutely beautiful. But I also checked out the progress pictures on Instagram for the Halloween March Stitch Along. I guess I'm the kind of Instagram and Rochelle did the Facebook, so it worked out. But Odds Mom 73, I think Melissa, is that you, Melissa? I hope I'm right about that. But anyway, um, I'd like to send you a little something too for participating in our Halloween March Stitch Along. 
So if you wouldn't mind um, sending me your address and I will get something out to you as well. So that is my two stitch alongs that are still ongoing. Like I said, jump in anytime for either one of those. We're at no end date in sight, especially that Hawk Run Hollow. So <clears throat> you two ladies send me your addresses and I'll get you, get you a little something out in the mail, okay? I want to take a quick second to wish Virginia, y'all know, I feel like y'all know Virginia because you know, I talk about her a lot. She's my, she's my sweetheart. Her birthday's tomorrow, which you may be watching it on her birthday. It's Tuesday the 6th. Happy birthday, Virginia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Virginia. Happy birthday to you. And many more. So, I love you. Okay, bingo words. <clears throat> now, let me explain something to Jewel, okay? Bingo. This is just a reminder. You chose 15 words and sent them to that Tranquil Stitches Bingo email address, right? The way you bingo is you have to get all 15 of those words, okay? I draw three a week, and the first one to match all 15 of those words that I draw, send an email with bingo in the subject line to that email address for Virginia to check against what your numbers on your list that you sent her against what's been called. If all 15 words match and you're the first one to call bingo, then you win. Okay, that's how bingo works. You have to get all 15 words. So, <clears throat> that's the rules. Okay, so the prize is a $25 gift certificate to the Cottage Needle. So you can go do some shopping, okay? So, and like I said, I'm going to be making this a seasonal thing. So, we'll be doing it again. But this is the holiday version. So, I've got the remainder of the words in here that haven't been called yet. So, let's draw out three more for this week. The first one we got is number 26, gingerbread. Ooh, I hope somebody's got a good gingerbread recipe. That'd be good. Gingerbread. Okay. The next one, my little Dollar Tree Sparkly Box, is number 25, Holly. 25 and 26. 25, Holly. And the last one for this week is number 21, Jingle Bells. 21, Jingle Bells. 26 gingerbread and 25 holly. That's the words for this week. Okay. So compare your words and check your list and check it twice and good luck to everybody. So that's our bingo game. Draw three more next week. Okay. Thank yous. I'd like to thank a couple people I bartered with. Thank you, Donna, Doodlebug Stitcher. We we had a nice barter. And I appreciate you. Thank you, Donna. Miss Shirley. Miss Shirley. Love you, Shirley. Shirley is my friend. She um, she and I had a barter as well. And I think we're both... Well, I know I'm happy. I, I, I think she's happy too. <laughs> and I also had a, had a barter with Miss Rochelle. Thank you, Rochelle, for that. Okay, Cindy in Canada sent me some goodies. Um... Yeah, we, we, it's not really, well, anyway, we had a transaction, put it that way, <laughs> and uh, Cindy also, she sent me this pretty little card. These scissors are raised, so cool. So, she sent me that card, she sent me some stickers for my planner, and she, look Jill, look Jill, she sent me a Canada keychain, and look what it does. Oh, look, check it out. Check out that little maple leaf. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. I'll be in touch with you. Probably today. So, so thank you, Cindy, for that. Sweet little things. Okay. And Leslie Hurley. Miss Leslie Hurley, her very self. 
she messaged me and she said, you know what? I used to make jewelry and I got tons of beads and I was wondering if you would like some. No trade, no, no. I just want to send you some beads if you want them. Well, <clears throat> she sent some beads, y'all. Not beads, she beads. Leslie, overachiever. So I said, you're not getting away with this. <laughs> and she's not. So thank you, Leslie. I adore them. I had so much fun sitting there. There are some beautiful beads. Beautiful beads. And you all will be seeing some of them. They're absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> Over the moon. So thank you, Leslie. I appreciate you. Retail therapy. Had some. Annie B's. Have y'all seen Annie's new charts? I have. <laughs> this is Christmas cookie. Cookies. I want y'all to look. Does that, not, does that not look like a royal icing snowman cookie? Nailed it. And those gingham borders. I, I cannot even begin to stand it. Annie, you're you're talented, honey. I just can't tell you. You're you're you're, you're a genius. She also sent me these little bobbins that say Annie's Annie B's folk art. <laughs> Cute. Thank you, Annie. I get to meet Annie at Cindy's retreat. Excited. Um I'll link her shop below if you have to have cookies. I had to have cookies. Okay, now, <clears throat> what I do at the Cottage Needle, if I see something I want, I send Rochelle a message, and she just kind of gathers it up and then sends it to me, and that's what she does. So, I blame these directly on several people, so I blame, and I'm pretty sure this is a Pam and Steph thing. I'm pretty sure that that's where I saw it the first time and ordered it immediately. But this is Madame Chantilly's Pumpkin Thieves. I know you've seen this, but it is, I was like, yeah, but, I mean, look, can you even, look at those cats hanging on, to, and she's, she's just, she is on a mission. She's got her little Zeppelin, and she's just taking off with all those pumpkins, and that is to, look at the nose on that moon. I mean, everything, everything about it is just, yes, please. And then this one I blame on Jen, of Jen's stitching niche. She did this. She showed her finish. This is Barbara Anna's spooky tree. Picture does not do this thing justice. If y'all haven't seen her finish, go look at her floss tube. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. This, look at that spider on that candle. Look, look, I want y'all, look. It's just too cute. That old skeleton guy with the top hat, just. Adorbs, adorbs. So, Jan's at fault for that one. Now, this one, I saw this when we were in Williamsburg at House Tyrol. I saw the model, and she didn't have it in stock. So, as soon as I got home, I said, Rochelle, I need it. So, I got this one, too, and this is Barbara Anna Something Wicked. Um, you know, Y'all probably seen this one, but oh, my God. That, it's the first time I had seen it. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Don't y'all think that looks like Johnny Depp? <laughs> it's so Johnny Depp. That's why I love it. It's like, that's him. But this is happening. This is happening very soon in 2019. Very soon. Because I love that. So that's my therapy. Almost all my therapy. I got one more therapy to show y'all. Now. When I was at Village Sampler in St. Albans. That's my N-S-L-N-S. -S -S. Not so local LNS. 
Hi, Pat. Hi, Robin. Okay, when I was there, sitting at the table stitching with some ladies that were there, a gal named Kathy was sitting at the table. Hi, Kathy. Kathy was showing some pictures of some things that she does. She's a paper crafter. And you know me and paper and planners and all stuff. Anyway, she was showing some pictures and I went, do you like sell those? Do you make those to sell? <laughs> she said, yeah, sometimes I do. And I said, would you make me one? And so she allowed me to commission her to make me something. And let me tell y'all, mind blown. Kathy said that I can share her email with anybody who's interested in contacting her about one of these. So if you are interested, if you see it and you fall in love like I did, drop me a note and I'll give you her email, okay? But let me show you what she made me. This is a Christmas memory book. This cover is magnetic. She put a little doily and some pretty little sparkly stuffs. Y'all, I'm going to show this the best I can. I hope I do it justice but focus. Hubby pulled up on the four-wheeler and the dogs went absolutely ballistic, but anyway, here we go. All right. Shoot me now. Okay. Inside this beautiful, beautiful book, there are, she let me pick the paper. I picked the paper out. I wanted vintage Christmas, and she, oh, Lord mercy, did she deliver. I want y'all to look at that. Look. Inside are tons of pockets with these little postcards in them that I can journal on. And are you ready for this? These little ribbons. Ta-da! On each page, there's a ribbon with a little card that slides out that you can journal on. Now, each one of these pages is numbered, so I can start with day one in December and journal notes for each day of December leading up to Christmas. There's 25 of them. They're all numbered. Look here. Look at this. Sorry, I, it's hard to hold. Little tags everywhere. To, to write on little, little look just beautiful little pieces of paper this unwinds this string unwinds and this folds out look little magical doors you know just magical little it's so fun to look at all the little tuck spots that she's got in here and like I said that's to journal December 2nd December 3rd look and each one of them has like I said these vintage places you know just cards to write Little tags just stuck, you know. I especially love these little postcards. Look at that. The, I mean, this lifts up and this comes out. Just little special little spots to just magnet too. Look at that. 
And then she wrote this little note, and I love what it said. It says, Merry Christmas. Enjoy making and keeping your memories. Making and keeping them. How, how sweet, you know. I'm over the moon. Over the moon with this. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. I cherish it, and I will cherish it. And this is something very special to hand down to my daughter. I'm, I'm over the moon with that. Okay. Now, I have plans. So, Thursday, we are leaving for Waynesboro. We're going to leave a little early and do some things. My sister, my husband, and I. We're going to go hang out up there in that area and do some things until Saturday, the open house at the Cross Edge Station in Waynesboro. So I'm planning to go to that, and I'm excited about that. And I also was supposed to have started this on November 1st with Mel, Patchy Pony Stitcher. If you're not watching Mel, you need to. I'll link her below as well. She's in, she's down under, Australia. But we're stitching this together. She's already started, and um, hers is beautiful already. She started with the lion up here in the corner. She sent me pictures. So it's, it's beautiful already. I'm, I'm waiting on some flosses, and um, uh, I'm going to wait until I get those before I start it. But I'll be joining you, Mel, soon. I'll be joining you soon. And that's my only new start that I will have the rest of the year. So, I'm excited to get that started. So, that's part of my plans as well. Now, I'm, um, I've been making bags like it's my job this past, um, I got some bags to show you, and bags are $25, includes shipping in the United States, they're U.S. only, please, and it includes a beaded zipper finder. They're not finders, that, I mean, they're not pulls, they won't hold up to constant tugging, so they're just just to help you find your metal zipper um, on the bag. So let me show you these real quick. And if you're interested in one, email me with your PayPal information and which bag you're interested in. And a lot of girls, if you're interested in more than one, put them in order of desire, you know, which one you want, would want first and then your second choice and your third choice. You know, a lot of girls do that because that way if, you know, the first one that I come to that is available, you know, I'm, we're not emailing, bouncing back and forth that way. So if you want to do it that way, if, if there's more than one that you're interested in, um, you know, if you want to prioritize them, that, that would be good. But um, um, also keep in mind that if I don't have one, but I have one ready to make behind the one that's not available, the finder might be different. Okay, so keep that in mind, but it will have a finder comparable to what was on the original one. They're, they're not always the exact same, because I just, some charms I'll just have one of, and you know, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, let me show you what I got available, and like I said, my email's below. Just email me with your PayPal information, which bag you want. I'll invoice you if it's available. You pay the invoice, and then I'll get you back to you, okay? So the first one, I'm, some of these I've made before, so I'm just... Re redoing some of them. I've still got fabric that I'm trying to purge. <laughs> so there's this vintage kitchen appliance one. It has a red polka dot interior and coordinating. It's got a little spoon on it, which I think is adorable. A little spoon and a little heart on the, on the charm. This one backed up. So that's the kitchen bag. <clears throat> this one's backed by popular demand, black roses. It's very feminine, very pretty. Black with gold, little stars, and coordinating beads with a little butterfly. So that's black roses. And I'm not doing just seasonal bags, guys, because I know you have whips, other whips for other seasons in the year and some with you know samplers and things with no seasons so you're going to need bags for those as well this i think is my absolute favorite halloween bag that i've ever seen <clears throat> it's 
So if you're still waiting for that perfect Halloween bag, it spark. Look at the sparkles. Look at that. Just mmm. Orange and black interior. Little jack o' lantern peeking out at you, and then a coordinating glass beads, black and orange with the jack o' lantern charm. That's the Halloween bag. You probably hear Penny out there. She's upset about something. Another chicken. Love this fabric. Black polka dot interior. Black and red beads with a barn. So that's black chicken. Or chicken. There's only one chicken bag. Okay, now these two, I've made this one before. The silver's got like a little shimmer. And then I also have this snowflake. So a light blue snowflake and a dark blue. The light blue has a light blue interior. And it has this little blue and white beaded finder and this it 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 um the little charm moves inside there it rotates can't, can't really demonstrate it but it's really it's really cool the way it, it twists and turns in there so it's kind of got an interactive <laughs> so that's light blue snowflake and then this one is the dark blue it's got a dark blue interior and it has blue and white with a little snowman charm. It's got beads. Little crystal snowman. So that's dark blue snowman. Snowflake. I have another green cardinal. With red and gold polka dots inside. And it has red and green beads with the little bird charm. So that's green cardinal. This is another winter bag, and it's black cardinal. So say black cardinal with red, because I've got two of these with two different color interiors. This is black cardinal with red. It's got the red and black interior. And red and black beads with a snowflake charm. So this is black cardinal with red interior. Then I also did a black cardinal with a green interior. See the green in the leaves? Well, that matches that. It's green polka dots. And it's the same finder. Red and black beads with a snowflake. So that's black cardinal with, with green. Okay, I have cranberries. And they've got a little shimmer to them as well. And this is the interior with coordinating dots and green and a cranberry bead with black and a little leaf charm. So that's the cranberry bag. I have this beautiful red and green paisley with a green and gold polka dot interior and has these beautiful green beads with red and gold on them. And a little deer charm. So that's Paisley. Then I have this red cardinal. I guess you will call it holly cardinal. Let's call it a holly cardinal. It's got holly leaves. This is very pretty. This could be for winter too. It's not really Christmassy unless you want it to be red polka dot and this is a cute bead too it's it's green with a little red flower on it kind of looks like a poinsettia or holly and it's got a jingle bell so that's holly cardinal and i have a poinsettia bag i've made this one before too it's got green and red interior and it's one of my favorite finders. It's red, green, and crystal with a Christmas tree. So it just sparkles. And I'm all about the sparkle. So that's the poinsettia bag. Talking about sparkle. It's another winter bag. And it is full of sparkle. Get it to show. 
can see it right in here. But it, it just, there's a little iridescent sparkle glitter all over it. It's wonderful. And the inside fabric sparkles as well. See, look at that. Ugh. Looks like little diamonds. So pretty. And this one has, it's got coordinating beads and a deer. Because, you know, deer. So, that's the deer bag. This one I love. Postage. I love this. And it has the red and black interior. Red and black beads. This bead has red and black in it. Look at there. How perfect. This is perfect. Focus there and old snowflake charm. So that's the postage bag. I don't know what else to call it. Anyway, and then these last two are the same fabric, different interiors. So I have a Santa green. So pretty. Look at him. He's got green with gold polka dot interior and red and green bead as well with the Christmas tree. So that's Santa red and then I also have the same fabric with the red and gold inside and the same bundle. So, all right that's the bags I have for you and like I said I've got I've got a, a few more original ones for next week and so hopefully that it'll be a seamless process if anybody wants them now since this video is probably going to be uploaded on Tuesday on Friday I will be putting these bags in Etsy so if it's after Friday go to my Etsy store and there'll be some bags there I'm sure because <laughs> this is a lot of bags Dinglies. <laughs> I love that. I love that. After I get them ready for the week, that's the first thing I do. <laughs> Play with the finders. So, okay. That's all I have for you this week. Thank you for bearing with me this long. It's been a crazy trying to get this video done, but we got her done. So, again, go vote. Go vote tomorrow. Okay. Exercise your right. And we will... See you next week. Until then, happy stitching.